This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, C-suite, and senior level executives share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Well, uh, my name, thanks, Stacey. Uh, my name is Anthony Ross. I'm the account director for Telesign. Uh, previously, I managed a virtual global team of 35 people uh, during the acquisition of my current employer. Mm -hmm. I was back then I was working in mergers and acquisitions for a Belgian wholesale carrier in the telecom industry. Um, currently, I'm managing a cross-Atlantic team that's reaching out to prospects in North and South uh, America, while we also manage the relationship with existing customers and uh, we help them set up the word success. That's amazing. I'll be excited to hear your thoughts, both from like a remote worker perspective, as well as kind of an in-person. I'm sure that that's got a, a little bit of a, a dynamic difference when it comes to leadership. From your perspective, question number two, what's the best thing about leading people? Well, personally, it's for me, it's really great seeing people to grow and excel. Uh, I think then when talking about a leader, I'd say the first objective is really to get a, a culture of, I would say, psychological safety. So whether people feel safe, they're confident to speak up, they voice concerns, and they are able to bring fresh ideas to the table um, without any fear of judgment or rejection. So uh, secondly, I think it's important to take away obstacles, whether it's in the form of coaching personal development, but it's also by providing them the best materials that they and the best tools that they can use to help them excel. And the last thing, I mean, it's probably very familiar, but it's setting the direction straight. In other words, it's focus. So. Um, it's easy to do everything and get lost in many side projects uh, and pilots. And I'm, I'm sure that you would ever were working on something and you th thought that, wow, I should be spending my time doing this actually. And that's why I mentioned it. It's really, it's equally important in knowing what not to do than uh, knowing what to do. So in conclusion, if you hit that sweet spot between that psychological safety, having the right tools and machine, um, machinery then, and lastly, the focus, you've got an oiled machine in place. And I think that reaching that moment really allows people to to, to grow and excel, and that will benefit them in their future career. Wow, well said, I'm, thank you, that's amazing. Um, question number three, I often hear from other leaders that business would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on that comment? Yeah, I think that um, good communication is crucial in organizations of all sizes, uh, whether we're talking top-down communication between peers or even up, so with your direct manager. I think that the responsibility of good communication still goes further than just the person who's delivering that message. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's safe to say that uh, I'd say organizations are built on ambiguous terms. So during one of the acquisitions, and I'll give an example, I've heard so many business leaders talk about synergy. Well, synergy is the word, I mean, to some people it means consolidation, right? So you have two teams that merge into one team. While well, on the other hand, synergy means collaboration for some people as well. Mm -hmm. So um, that's only one word. So, and there's two different meanings to that. So having, imagine having full dialogues with buzzwords like that. And just to clarify, and the responsibility is not only with the person who's delivering the message, but also with the person obviously who's receiving that message because asking clarification is, is for free, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not 100% aligned, um, asking that explanation and driving it down to the core purpose of the message that would prevent a lot because if not, there's clearly a recipe for misalignment, bad communication. Um, and the reason for that is people probably unconsciously assume that, that they know and that they understand what the message is. And that's probably the, why the importance of good communication is often overseen in, uh, in good organizations. And um, just because people don't realize it actually. Yeah. Well, clearly you've, you've done this before because you're speaking so eloquently about how to, to work in some of these issues. So um, clearly this has been your, your wheelhouse for many years. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's important to just to drive it down actually as, as simple as possible, right? So everybody is, I think that when good communication in general is just preventing to be misaligned and taking away the ambiguity from any discussion. Yeah, um, yeah probably the, the, the core of it, right? Mm -hmm. How do you see that? I totally agree. I think when you've got that clarity, then you can actually take action a lot more effectively than you can when things are kind of muddy and you're not really sure what or why you're doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Question number four, what other successful business leaders like yourself should be on the podcast? Who else should we be paying attention to and listening to? Okay, um, well, uh, there's a, a good friend of me, he's called Joe Bayon. 
Uh, he's the CEO of Grow Credit. Um, I like the way he runs his company, his team, um, and how he addresses actually a well-known problem in the market, uh, being a credit score. So, um, but then focused on young adults and expats. So um, maybe as a clarification, a Grow Credit is a financial platform that allows you to take subscriptions like Netflix, um, Spotify, the ones that we all have, uh, to build your credit. And uh, fintechs like these are, I mean, they're rising in popularity because they're able to address the real market needs, right? And whereas traditional banks at this moment, they, they fail to put this innovative culture in place and that makes them fall behind a bit and maybe become obsolete in one point in time as well. One can hope, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> revolutionize it. I love it. Well, thank you. We'll definitely go check out Joe and see what he's got to say. I'd love to, to see him and watch that business grow. So thank you for that insight. What piece of advice about communication would you give to other leaders? Um, something I live by myself actually is, um, so it's listening, observing, and addressing. Uh, I think that first, during any discussion, uh, it's important to listen actively. So being in the moment, uh, focusing on the conversation, building trust, so use brief affirmations to encourage communication. Uh, I see, that makes sense, sure, right? I mean, you know them. Um, Active listening. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, second, it's uh, observing. Uh, people, people often give away more than they want to give away. And there's concepts like body language, micro expressions that op that's obviously uh, always take place in the conversation. Um, Somebody that helped me a lot with this is Paul Ekman. Uh, he's an authority in microexpressions, and his books were uh, certainly very useful from that part. Um, and lastly, it's addressing. So whether that you're listening something strange or you're observing something strange, you address what you see. So uh, if it's a raised eyebrow, if it's a brief smile, perceived irritation, you can always ask for some kind of a clarification again to, to get away that ambigu ambiguity, right? Yeah. So, that you're nervous it seems that you're this um so i would Am say I misinterpreting that or is that accurate exactly right you know exactly. giving me out of course yeah um, I love your that. Assumptions. Mm -hmm. um so in short uh, i would say listening observing and addressing um it, it improves communication in general and it, the concept again is, is just building on it's built on taking away ambiguity and uh, misalignment mm -hmm. i love that all right, magic question number six, Anthony. Tell us about your favorite boxer teacher. Who's influenced you? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I would say maybe to start, I would say that my, the person who inspirates me most, probably my father. Um, back in Belgium, he built a business in the amusement game industry. Um, he went from zero to 200 employees. He set the direction. Uh, he drove the business forward day in, day out, like over 35 years already. Um, so the, the consistency and, and drive he had was, was definitely contagious. Um, but starting about that, when I started in managerial positions myself, um, I was struggling with, with giving people empowerment and, and allowing them to, to set further, uh, as I felt that I was micromanaging a bit at a certain moment in time, um, because nobody does things as well as you think that you do them yourself, right? <laughs> That's what we all think. <laughs> exactly. Um, until one of my managers, uh, they told me, um, well, you should think of what your favorite manager did that made you like him and be the coach that you would like to have. And, and that made a huge difference to me and in my further career as well. Um, I think that what I personally liked about my manager was uh, an open line of communication, providing support when needed, um, allowing empowerment, I would say, to take up more responsibility if you feel that, that you're able to do it and getting that timely feedback, whether it was negative or positive. Um, and this is certainly something that I try to give myself as well uh, to the people who I manage. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Anthony, for being on. Um, how can people find you? I know somebody's going to want to reach out and learn more about Joe or TeleSign or whatever you got going on. Yeah, uh, so they can find me on LinkedIn, uh, just Anthony Russ, uh, mm -hmm. US. And um, yeah, that should be it. They can always send out a, a request or oh, fine. a reply. Okay. Very good. Well, again, thank you so, so much. This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more ideas and insights, please go to www.conciliateam.com. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.